is question 3b part 2. So we're asked to now do a comparison. Here's the keyword compare. And they want us to compare um, the probability distribution, so that's our figure 1, um, with the frequency histogram, which is our sample results. So they're wanting us to compare the theory with the sample. Um, and they're telling us to think about shape, centre and spread, and as well as providing numerical evidence there. So I want to just take some quick notes about each of these distributions before I go ahead and do some comparisons of them. So I'm going to start by looking at the shape and the centre and the spread of both of these graphs. Okay, so that's my first step is to make the decision what is the shape, what is the centre and what is the spread of both of these. Okay, so we can look at the first one, figure one there, and that looks like a lovely symmetric normal distribution. The centre of that, if we look where the median is, okay, that's got a mean of 310 grams. And in terms of the spread, that's going from 296 up to 324. So that is a spread of about 28, a range. Okay, so just a note, that's the range that I'm just looking at there. Okay, then look at our sample distribution. And that, now if I was to draw the shape over the top of that, doesn't look as symmetric as I would like it to. Okay, I would say that that is going to be slightly skewed to the right. Okay, so I'm going to say right skew. Then I'm going to look for the centre, and I'm going to look what the most common, the highest peak is, so the highest peak there. Um, That's got the um, highest mode of 40, so that's a mode of 40, but um, that modal weight is around 303 grams. It's halfway between the 302 and the 304. Then the spread in terms of my range, it's going from 298 up to 312. So that's a spread or range of approximately 14. So that's just making some notes about them. Now I need to do a comparison. So I'm going to start with thinking about the shape. So the first one had a shape that follows a normal distribution. So that's our theory of what the machine should be doing. Then we've got our sample results, which says the shape is actually a right skewed. So that's the first thing I'm going to write up about, um, about comparing the two of them, because that's what they want as a comparison. So I can say... Um, the shape of the um, of graph one is a symmetric normal distribution. Um, but the graph 2 um, differs in shape and is skewed to the right. Um, because it has a long tail on the right hand side has a longer tail on the right hand side. Okay, so that's the first part. I've talked about the shape. Now I need to talk about the next, compare the next one. So I'm going to compare graph 1, has a mean of 310. And graph 2 has a, a centre, a mode, of 303. So now we need to think, well, are those means, those centres, are they similar? Are they the same? Are they different? 
okay? And we can say, well, they're both above 300, but they are different, yep? And as soon as you've got right skewed data, you've got your mean or your mode is not going to be the same. So that's our next step to do, is to make a comparison between the centres, okay? And so we can say... Um, the mean, oh, I'll write the word, not this symbol, the mean of graph 1 is at 310 grams, while the mode on graph 2 is around 303 grams. These centers are similar but not the same due to the skew in graph 2 um, and it's pulling the mean or pulling the center towards the left okay so that's compared the center now let's look at the third one that we want to compare and now we want to compare that spread of the two of them and think are those spreads the same or different. So graph number one has a much wider range, 28, compared to graph two which has a spread that's half the size. Okay, so the graph two has a much smaller spread than graph one and that's what we want to say in a sentence. So we can say graph 1 has a spread that is double the size of the spread in graph 2. And I can put range of 28 versus 14. And now I've got numerical data, numerical evidence. And there is our answer.